Hey guys, it's Hillary. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the wings of a type 9, the Peacemaker, which I happen to be a Peacemaker. So I'm starting with the type 9 in this new series of going over the wings of each number because I am a certified Enneagram coach, right? And I have had the hardest time figuring out my own wing super annoying. I mean like almost to the point of embarrassment. If you watch my other videos, you will see some videos that say I'm a type 9 with a 1 wing and you will also see that I say I'm a type 9 with an 8 wing. I I think the 9 struggle with knowing their wing because we're at the top, right? You got the Enneagram circle and the 9 is at the top and we can merge with all numbers so we can feel like the 1 and the 8 at times and I think that's where I know myself I got confused. I'm like wait I totally could see the one in my life, but I also could see the eight in my life. And the way Beth McCord, um, the Your Enneagram coach, describes this is the wings are only supposed to be like the salt and pepper of your type, which makes perfect sense. In my professional life, I actually believe I have more one in there. And in my personal, I feel like I use more of my eight wing. So that has been my journey so far and I just wanted to be honest with you. I, you know, I know I'm the Enneagram coach and I should know, but I haven't and I have struggled with this and I wanted to be real. So let's go over the wings of the nine. So you have the eight wing and the one wing. The reason why they are the nine's wings is because every number's wings are the two numbers that are on each side of your type. And so for me, I'm a type 9, and what I'm teaching today is the type 9, and so your wings are the type 8 and the type 1. You can't have any other wing. I have heard people say, I'm a 7 with a 3 wing. That actually can't happen. It doesn't work. Um, there's other explanations for why you might feel that way, because it is legit that you would feel like you have some 3 in you um, as a 7, but there's subtypes, which we're not going to go over today, but there are different reasons why you might feel like you would have a different number as a wing, but it's not how it works in the Enneagram. All right, so let's start with the nine with the eight wing, which is what I really believe I most resonate towards because the nine with the eight wing are more sociable, encouraging, um, they're more expressive, and I definitely can be that way. I've actually been called out on this in the sense of, I've had viewers say, oh, you look like a seven, and it's like, no, I'm not a seven. I do tend to have some seven qualities. Um, it was in my top three. But the reason why you're seeing this is because of this eight wing. The eight wing of a nine, they're more independent. They're more assertive. Um, they actually enjoy comforts more than the type one wing, which is interesting because I am not a self prez. If you know what that is, it's a subtype. There's three subtypes. We won't go in that today. Moving on, my subtype is not a self prez, but I do like comfort, if that makes sense. And I do believe it comes from this eight wing. And so the other reason why I relate so much to this nine with the eight wing is they are more prone to a temper and I can do that. I could be, my personality can be so easygoing, right? The peacemaker, we're go with the flow, easygoing until we're not. And I go, go, go with the flow until I explode. And mine is a quick explode. And then it's like, I let it all out and then I'm good again. The eight wing also brings the nine, um, that ability to stick up for others. They do not like to be pushed around. It does bring the nine some of that intensity and, and assertiveness. Okay, and then on the other side, we have the one wing and they are called the dreamer and they're more idealistic and principled and they really wanna do what's right for everybody. They care about justice and fairness and people treating others with kindness and respect. And the type, or the nine with the one wing, the one actually is more introverted. Um, the, the nine with the one wing, they are a little more introverted versus that eight wing is that extrovertedness. So they can actually, when struggling, could be more quiet. Um, they could be more judgmental and critical. Uh, and so we're, with that eight wing, it was more of like, you know, when struggling, it was more of like that powerful temper can come out with the one, they get quiet and they also withdraw. Okay, so anyways, those are the two wings of the nine. Hopefully this helps you. It definitely helped me as I was researching this um, a while back, realize that I am a nine with an eight wing, but I do go towards that one wing in different areas of my life. And I think it's just that salt and pepper thing. It's a flavor to your number. It's not your number, but it's just a flip, an added flavor. Do more research if this, you know, if you're like, wow, I still don't know and you really want to have that wing, 
but I will say not everyone even has wings. I've heard some people say, I don't use either. That's totally normal too. But, um, so whichever one you use the most is usually your wing. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope it helped you. I hope it helped you um, figure out which wing you lean towards and um, which one mostly influences your type. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me any comments below. I love answering your guys' comments and like the video. I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate that you take the time to watch these. And stay tuned. I will be making videos for each type and their wings um, coming soon. So until next time, bye, guys. Blah, 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 blah. And so anyways, those are the, the two blah, 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 blah. Okay. Blah, blah, blah.